a player is encouraged to continue to refine a skill essential to his game. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. The Friars will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Number one is on the mound for the Giants in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Now with the play, Tommy Pham, off, and, and we are ready for some daytime down. baseball. The left fielder, Tommy. First pitch Pam. coming, here it is. 0-1 oh, the count. First pitch, 107. Now here it comes. Ah! Oh and two. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Hey, plays out one right here. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Greg Garcia comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Danny Dero, this Giants team, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, Dero. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Hey, come on now. Here we go. The one-two. Is swung on and missed strike three. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both the of them out, baseman, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. A swing and a ground ball to third. Bases are empty here with two men out. One now. Here we go. Hit hard down the line, but this will get foul for strike two. 
Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires no, come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Man, errors are never welcome. But to make one with two outs in the first is especially painful. Now your pitcher has to make extra throws and that could make the difference in how long he lasts in this game. Fernando Tatis Jr. is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. One left for San Diego. Padres nothing, Giants coming. Digging in, Austin yeah, Nola. He hurt. did not yeah, play yeah, last yeah. night, but clearly back in the starting nine for Austin this one. Nola. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Well, it's been a lopsided series thus far with the Padres dominating to this point and taking aim at a series sweep in this contest. Whoa, whoa, sure does, whoa. and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Stepping in, it. Trent Grisham. The center fielder, number two. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah! No score here as we play What's inning number now? two. And he up, pops him up, up, drifting toward the oh, left side of oh. the infield. And two quick outs here in the second. Jerickson Profar digs in next. That He's back in the starting lineup the for this pitch. one after sitting Jerickson. out last night's game. Profar. First pitch of the at-bat. Two out, nobody on. Oh, Here's one there. that misses high. It's one and one. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going what for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. Listen, it's hard in this day and age with all the quality pitching to put up double-digit runs like they did yesterday. They'd certainly like to a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three. Bottom of the second. Settling in now, Greg Allen, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Allen. Here's the first pitch to him. The bouncer to the left side. Flores has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Striding in, Mike Clevenger. Batting nine. The pitcher, number 52. Mike Levin. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, 0-1. 0-1's the count. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off-speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Oh, and a good tight Double slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch and then absolutely dominates this now at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Tommy at Pham. the plate, Tommy Pham. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Slater's under it, and the inning is over. Next to bat for the Giants, Batting number nine. one. He's ready the for pitcher. his first A.B. Number here in one. this one. From the stretch, rip down the line. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. 
Hey, yeah. don't let the fact that this guy's on the mound fool you right here. This guy has a nice approach at the plate, knows what he's doing, has history. I'm not now surprised back. he was Second able to mix in a base knock. Jonathan Dorado. Popped up. Cronenworth takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. And now they'll tag. All set for the start of the inning, and Greg Garcia will be the next to bat. This game is rolling right along as we move Greg into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Garcia is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. And in today's game, Matty, this is such a lost start. I know you love this one. Guy dropping a drag bunt down for a knock, putting him up, putting him down, getting down to first baseline, definitely sets the tone for the team. One, one, one. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit out towards second. Beautiful diving stop. And the first out of the inning is a beautiful one. What a play. Coming to the plate now, Jake Cronenworth. It comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Now here's the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Right Padre still with the big goose egg in the hit column thus far. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So two are gone in the Padre fourth, the and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. Here comes the first pitch. Hey! Hey, here we go. Oh, a lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Okay. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Yastrzemski's got it for out number three. Stepping in, Austin Nola. He's 0 for 1 thus far. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Slow roller down the third baseline. Hey, we got nobody. The windup and the 0 1. Hey, come on now. Ball, that's off the plate. Popped up. up. I got it. That's mine. I got it. I got it. There to take it is Belt for the first out. At the plate, Trent Grisham. Now batting. The center fielder, Trent Grisham. And, and a step wait, off. Wait. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. A 
A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have the to look for the soft spin. stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. Oh, Popped him up. Belt has a play. I got and the inning is over. Standing in, number now one, a base hit number in his one. first trip. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised Look, if they dang, don't attack. Dang, and the throw is in time to get him to retire. Digging in now for San Diego. Greg San Allen. Diego. He'll start the things right out here in a tie ball Greg. game. Allen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Oh, Shocked one. he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're you looking go, for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Mm, got him out on his front foot. Oh, it's 0-2. Oh, his command has been outstanding so far, hitting yeah, nearly all no of the one. spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Straight up, Popped straight up. up. Plenty of room, plenty of room. But this will land untouched. The next 0-2. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Slater, and the Friars are into the hit column. Wow, I was starting to wonder if we had to go on no hit alert, Dan. I know you were privy to that. Sixth inning right here, they finally break through with their first hit of the game. And you have to wonder, Dero, this guy had been cruising all along going into this sixth inning. We'll see if he can be able to buckle down right here. The sixth and seventh innings are normally the toughest inning for a starting pitcher, so we'll see if he can minimize the damage now. Tommy. From the belt, the pitch. Tommy Pham is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. Dickerson's it, under it. it. Three, Makes the three, play three, one away. Three, no runner, no runner. Eat it, eat it. Now one Freddie down, once one again, down. Greg Garcia. He was a ground out victim last time up. Greg yeah, Matty, expect this Garcia. pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double yeah, right play now. is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. He's set and the pitch. Ball. First pitch is a sinker too low. 1 0. Allen at second. Clevenger is over at first with one away. That Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two and one now. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Strike two is that's taken on the outside Three, part of the plate. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The payoff pitch one more time. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in a dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Jake Cronenworth is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. The 0-1 offering. And he pops it up. Drifting big, just big beyond hit. the infield. Ball, ball, ball. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. No balls in one strike.
Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0-2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Got him to go down swinging there. Fernando Tatis Jr. becomes the first out of the inning. Now batting. Catcher. Austin Nola. So now to the plate. Austin Nola. As the first pitch ball to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. One one He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. one out, nobody on. Fouled off. Hey, plays that first, plays that first. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Trent. In now, Trent Grisham. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. No, that's and down. he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Padres down in order. We are still ready to begin the eighth and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman Jurickson Profar not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting but as we're moving late into this one it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run swung on and lifted in the air to left center Slater's on his horse he makes the catch a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning Manny Machado will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Machado now on 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly by Belt. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Will Myers will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. For San Diego. Number four. Will Myers. A ball and no strikes. The numbers coming in. 278 the average. 15 long balls and 48 driven in. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. Just foul. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count yeah, holds steady way, at one way. and two. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he's got another one here. 12 punch out. Your Brandon Crawford lead. will come on to pinch hit here in a big gun. spot. Number 35. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well pitched one run game. Both hurlers battled. And it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. The a single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the, the final Victoria. score.
Pitching staff is pressed to step up their game. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Francisco Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals. Stay tuned for Cardinals Baseball next. Miles Michaelis gets the call for game one of the series. Dan act. what's the word on him? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. And nobody out now. First delivery to him on the way. Tommy hey. Edmond is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this hey. road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in hey, a positive go, direction. Play one now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, man, that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes, and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing that again. 
So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Tommy Edmond is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. Batting second, the second baseman, Colton Wong. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Three homers and 23 driven in. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency oh. to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Batting third, the first baseman. Here's Paul ball. Goldschmidt now Goldschmidt. as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, ball one and oh. You see the great batting average coming in. 23 homers and an even 70 that's RBIs. Bullshit. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Now. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Three, three, Smoked three. on the ground up the middle. Three, three, and three. that's through for a hit. Cut hold, cut hold. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came Batting from. Four. The third baseman, Matt. Carpenter. Here's Matt Carpenter. Yeah, oh, so take good. a look at ball one. He'll we'll check in with an average still south of 230. 10 home runs, 27 driven in. And it's fouled away. Wong over at second. Goldschmidt at first, one gone. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. Ball three. Three and two now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. First and second now, one man out. Come on, fellas, let's go. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made right that field. guy on the mound work for Killer. it. And when you're doing that in the first Total inning, time. it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Ball Up two. top, it's 2-0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something hey, off right. speed for a strike. Go. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. On the first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the hard strand. Here's Dexter Fowler now, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Fowler. Here comes the first pitch. Fowler playing here in his age 34 hey, season. Now, he was taken in the 14th round back in the 2004 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for round number one. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely that that. fooled because the that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Matt Wieters comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, one away, one the away. 0 one Ball, that's out. Here you go, guys. Let's go. A 
A ball and two strikes. The count is one and two. And he fouls this one off. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And another foul ball. The Giants have struck first here. They lead it 1-0 as we play the second. 2-2 two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Got him. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's again. so hard for hitters the to sit back field. long enough after Aaron they've Finn. seen a really good fastball. Bigger. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader ball as one. he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here it comes. The count is two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled yeah, this guy ahead. on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he can't oh, catch the corner out. here, so he's behind three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing three that, and, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Full count, three and two. And he looks ball at ball four, four, four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. So stepping in, Miles Michaelis, as he'll no get picture. his first opportunity Mile. in this one. Michael. Now a swing and a ball oh, popped in the air it. back behind short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't. Welcome back to Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. To start the day, they've given up the fewest home runs of any other pitching staff in the league, which has certainly led to accumulating one of the best ERAs in the league as well. One of their pitchers told me, all of our guys have stuff that dances around. We don't throw a lot of straight stuff, so we make it really tough on hitters to barrel us up. Especially in today's game, limiting the home run ball is a great avenue to success, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone. Bottom of the inning now. And we coming go. forward now is the shortstop, Tommy Not Edmund. Shortstop, Tommy Edmund. Go out. First offering on its way. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Ground ball right side. Belt has it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Colton Wong will stand in. Now batting, second baseman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Longoria's got it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Now the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Hey, here we go. Sneaks a fastball a by him at the letters. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Two 
down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. In order. Now to the plate, the pitcher, now number back. one. Pitch. 0 for number 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat, and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Three runs already home here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Fowler has a read on it. And that's the third out. So three runs on. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Pleasak, Matt Vaskersian as the TCU the product, the left-handed hitting Matt Carpenter Matt. is the first to bat in the Carpenter. inning. Hey, come on, guys. Now the pitch. And he swings through a count. fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Strike two swinging oh, just out in front of the slider. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes oh. the throw to first. Carpenter is retired, and there's one away. Digging in now, Dylan Carlson. Right He's 0 for Number 1 three. after grounding out in Get his away. only trip to the plate so far. Carlson. First pitch on its way. That's a ball. Well That's above the one. letters with the fastball that time. Ball one, no strike. One and one the count. Carlson, a California-born ball player. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Chop to third. Up with it is Longoria. On to first, and there were two down. The next to bat for St. Louis, Dexter Fowler. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Fowler. First delivery to him on the way. In there, strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Chopped up the line to first, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the... Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Wieters, a native of South Carolina. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Hey, Not surprised right he's here. laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. That's up! Pops up, this up. one up. Lots of room, lots of room! He brings it in, standing inside the coach's box for out number one. 
So the base now is batter. empty here with one the away. And into bat next, Harrison. one of the fastest players in Bader. all of baseball, Harrison Bader. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gone! Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Now he'll step off. Hit softly on the ground to third. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready for another shot now. Tommy Edmond. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the one same one. thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Outside, 2-1. Oh, one. one run on three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop. We got a full full count. count now, three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And he nope. takes ball four, ball four, so he's on, and as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Here's Colton Wong now. The second Ready with the first pitch, Colton. here it comes. Grounded up the first Whoa. baseline. A runner on first with two away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. We got two. We got two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends on a hit. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. And through five turns at bat, go. they've only well, mustered a total of three hits. Not man. terrible, but they're Paul. certainly not firing on all Paul cylinders. Smith. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Yanked on the ground down the line. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. So he continues to hit the ball well, his second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league the leaders bat. in hitting. The and as you can see there, he in fact bat. leads the NL in that category. He yanked high and deep down the line in right, and it's a foul ball. One and he ball, takes this one right. high, one and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look right, for something on, down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. And there's Whoa, ball two now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead ah. and put himself at a good hitter's count. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Three. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Your attention. Now please. here's the giant skipper making now, his way out toward, toward the mound. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. Our if they get one of the next tonight. two, the First series is the theirs. And this ball game.
Afternoon baseball here on and the now, show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Number one gets the start for San Francisco in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, in this day and age where we're used to seeing a lot of home runs and pitchers not going very deep in a game, how about this guy? ERA in the low ones. That's not an easy thing to do. He can strike people out, but he can also get them out via the ground ball, the fly ball. Judging by his stats this year, he is having a ridiculously good season up to this point. Now at the plate, Cattell Marte. He will lead this one off today. First pitch of the at-bat. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Danny Dero, this Giants team as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dero, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Ball one. And he wastes a fastball oh, high there, go. one and two. Our temperature should get us up into the 70s as we move along. 68 at first pitch. 
Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The one two. Misses ball two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Full yeah, count pull. now. Three and two. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that second. beauty of a pitch right there. Up. You can't Dick. spot a sinker Amen. in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that textbook sinker. Wave that and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Unless you're willing to sell out and try and take one part of the field out of play and just work the ball up the middle the other way, well, it's extremely difficult when a guy's throwing this hard to stay back on a breaking ball. You either commit and be all in on a fastball or try and find a way to work the ball the other way to keep you back on the off-speed. Dickerson's Thank under you. it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready now for the Diamondbacks, David Batting Peralta. Third. He was among the, the many field. who failed to record David. a base hit in the loss yesterday. Ball one. Lays off 1-0. Oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. That evens it up 1-1. One and one. And now pitch on the way. Uh, offered it a low one, one there, but came down. up empty. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So one, two, three. We'll see what the judge... Stepping up now, Cole Calhoun. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Cole Calhoun. Now the pitch. Got him to reach out of the zone one, for that one, strike one. Today's ball game provides the Giants with hey, a chance to end the series on a very high note. A win completes the sweep. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series, but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. Fouled off. Hey, come on, guys. Hit on one, the ground down one, the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Garcia goes to get it, but it's not in time. And he'll reach first despite going down on strikes. Ready now, Christian Walker. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Walker. Hey, we got no outs. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, now a big one. fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, His go right heater's here. got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Ball. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. That no. misses, and we're even at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit Thank right you. now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. The next three two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yastrzemski's got it, and there's one no runner, gone. No runner. Cut hole, cut hole. Eduardo Escobar standing in, and that he's a guy good. looking to break the out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his Ball club have been hoping for. Ball one to start the at-bat. Calhoun, no, base one runner down. at first with one out. That's yep, why 2-0. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, 
you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot oh, of guys three. rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, three, no. even when it's not in a good location to hit. Now the 3 and 0 offering. Hey! Three balls, one strike. Fly ball right down the line in left. Dickerson is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. In now, Wyatt Matheson, and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball in there for a called strike. Matheson is playing second base today, but by trade he's most often considered a third baseman. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not through it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. Bottom of the second. Top of the third set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Carson Kelly. Kelly. Hey, no one down here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move go, to 0-2 go. now. And another foul ball. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Into the box now, Corbin Martin, as he'll get his first the opportunity pitcher, in this one. Corbin Martin. Right through it here, and he's oh, behind 0-1. Oh he's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. A ball and a strike now. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Solano ranges back and he has it for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Cattell Marte. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Marte. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Here's the pitch. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed. 0-2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. Grounded weakly toward third. He's got it. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. Hey, your pitch. So your pitch. in He's now for San Francisco, number well, one. Go. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number one. <laughs> pitch on the way. Popped him up. Matheson will wait on it. One pitch, one away. All set for the start of the fourth. And we stepping in is the veteran going. shortstop, the Nick Ahmed. This game is rolling right along Ahmed. as we move into the middle innings with no score. Going You'd one. think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on, on and get him in, go. but that hasn't been the case. Fouled away. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. And he got him. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can Come be back. real hard for some Come guys to overcome you. when you teams did. start figuring out Peralta. what locations yeah. you just can't handle. David Peralta will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Ah. 
in there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. No ball, two hey, strikes. as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right two. here. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Diamondback hey, still searching right for Let's that go. first hit of the ball game. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. Now It'll be interesting to see if right this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Cole Calhoun swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Nope. And low, it's a ball and a strike. In his career, Calhoun hey, right has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. No, and this low. is low, ball two, two and one. Hey, two outs, one away. Now here it comes. Just nope. off the inside, inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The three and one pitch. It it swung on and missed, three and that's and a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Ground ball one, one, one. right into the shift. Scooped up. Throw in oh. time, and the side is retired. Digging in for his second at-bat, Christian Walker. He flew out in his last at-bat. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on, or at least get a base hit? There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Into the bleachers, and gone! Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do now it with no one on base. base. It stings, sure, Eduardo. but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Eduardo oh, Escobar stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. A one, little one, roller one. toward the hole. <laughs> on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Coming to the plate now, the Wyatt Diamond Matheson. Guy. One run in and reason. one gone so far Wyatt. this inning. Just Matheson. gets a piece of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That's a ball. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and, and one. Ball, one strike. Aye. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Standing in, Carson Kelly. Now He's 0 for 1 thus far. Carson. Here's the no. first pitch to him. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Bat one, shatters one, one. as this is on the ground to first. On to first on oh. his own is Bell, and that ends the inning. Hey, let her rip. What time? Digging in, number yeah, one comes into number this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Back up the middle. Ahmed has it. He'll go to the bag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that. This so here now is the pitcher, Corbin Martin. Opportunity to bat for himself with his guys up a run here in the sixth. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one oh, hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan yeah, from these hitters. Wins. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and one missed, ball. and that's strike two. two. Strike. And 
Okay. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. So the batting order turns over now and set now to go. Could tell Marte. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Marte. last time. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh, and one. Here we go, guys. One and oh, one to the D-backs leadoff man. No Two offer on one that strike. one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. One run, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. One away, one away. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. So striding in, Nick Ahmed. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Strike one to start the at bat. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back. And a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Diamond defeated one to nothing. Harleen Garcia right. is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today.
We are under the lights as the show now, gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Colorado A good matchup here Rockies. for you tonight between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. Peter Lambert, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Kevin Pillar is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. Fastball yes. called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases that empty exactly. and that brings up the, the catcher off. Tony Walters. Tony. Walter. Swung on oh and missed one. for the first strike. One thing I'm going to keep my eye on with this young starter on the mound is how he's able to stay ahead of hitters. It makes pitching at this level a lot easier. And when you're trying to establish yourself in the big leagues, you're going to have a much better time doing that if you attack hitters from the get-go. Here's Nolan Arenado. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Arenado. In there, 0-1. Two down. We got two down. On a line, that's a base hit. So that keeps the inning alive. We're two out for David Dahl. Yeah, he's going to have to work that sinker down in the zone. That's his bread and butter pitch. And if he's going to leave that belt high, that's going to spell disaster. The left fielder. First pitch David. on its way. Strike. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Ball. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well Nine off the ball. outside. One ball, two strike. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the sun. Into the box, that number one. He readies for his first plate appearance. Number one. Bouncer up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Hey, good piece. Out of Boy, Dewar, you're talking Take about frustrating as a pitcher. You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning Down there back. with a base Second hit. Base. Yeah, it's funny. I've Donovan. hit eighth in my career in the grind. And he'll try ah. to get back now, but it's not going to work. Ready to go for the last half of go. the inning. In coming Rocky. forward, the veteran outfielder, the Charlie Blackman. Charlie. He's ready. Here's the first Man. offering. Right. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting oh, the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, no one down Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the one, zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. And he'll step on he's first out. for the out. Three unassisted. Batting fifth. The first now baseman. here's the pitch. Daniel Murphy. Way late on no the ball. fastball for one strike strike. one. Murphy has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually no a trait Two that strike. a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. And he fouls this one off. Hey, one down, one down. The 0-2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Tom Murphy. Batting, batting. And it's been a real the struggle catcher. for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to Murphy. get things turned around in a hurry. Oh, one. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, 
fooled with the curveball there, oh, and it's strike two. Hey, your best stuff right here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the... Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the second Welcome baseman, Garrett Hampson. Second baseman. Hey, we're still in the early Number stages one. in this one. They're only down by no. a couple of runs, but it's one really ball. key for this no leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Playing 11. One Little one. hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away, but that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. One, Got him two. reaching there. Strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Garrett Got Hampson is retired for the first out here in the Peter. bottom half of the third. Lambert. Peter Lambert ball. comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Right oh. Come on, guys. The pitch. Yep. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. That's no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two, one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to one, a guy one, one. that you know won't swing the bat. And the off-balance yeah. throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. Now at the plate, number one. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully. Throw won't get him. Stepping up to the plate, Donovan Solano. Two hits seven. in two trips for him thus far. Donovan. Hit out towards second. Solano. Fielded cleanly. Come on, beat it out, beat Throw it out. Beat on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Tony That's Walters. Shortstop. Go day. Walter. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Mancini. Two, he two, can't two. get to it. That's a leadoff single. So the leadoff hitter reaches base safely, and now it's the run producing part of the order with nobody out. Now batting. Third and that'll three. bring in Nolan Arenado. Nolan. That's a foul ball. All right. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes, Dan. He's no making ball. it nearly Two impossible strikes. for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, ball. this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. One ball. Count is two one strikes. and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving two, chase. Two, two. He gets to no, it no, and no, makes no, the home. catch for the first out. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David now Dahl. Batting. 0 Let's for 1 it. for him here in this Take one. Big. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Walters stands at first with one out. Yeah. And that's in there as well, 0-2 oh now. Two. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. No. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hey, get us a grounder right here. Got him. Oh, so he's three. down on strikes for the second time here tonight. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he now just bat. stood there and looked the at right four field. straight pitches. Charlie. Hopefully, we'll see no him get a little bat. bit more right. aggressive next time. Charlie Blackman Do will stand here. in for a second time here as he swings and misses oh, there. Oh, it's oh, nothing oh. in one. Sent on three, the ground three. out to second. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly Double what happened Bigman, right there. Number nine. Just able to get Daniel. a piece of that for strike one. Murphy. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Hey, we got two. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. 
No runs, three hits, and one error in the ball game for the Rockies hey so far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tom Murphy Rocky. looking to put the ball the in play here. He went down on strikes in his first Murphy. at bat. Ball. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to one the out. outside corner. It's ball one. And that ball. one misses badly. It's ball two. two. Ball. No hey, always a good idea to take hey. a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself right. at a real good hitter's count. Two, two balls ball. and a strike. One strike. Hey, come on, guys. Two and right. two to the Colorado catcher. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, now he bad. hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Garrett Hampson is in with oh, one away now as he swings now? and misses here at strike one. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. What, he has what, them what? in the proverbial rocking chair. That's foul! Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Matt Kemp will get please. the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Matt. Kim. That's up, up, up. Popped up. Bell over to his right. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. And the inning is over. Now in the box, number one, two base hits, both number singles one. to this point. He comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Well, this is speared by the first baseman, but one's all they'll get as he's back in safely at second. Digging in once again, Kevin Pillar. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Striding into the box, Tony now Walters. A hit Good in job. two tries so Tony. far. Walter. A high fastball is in there. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the here. party started. Two. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. And now the plate now, Third Nolan base. Arenado. Nolan. As he grounds oh, one briskly to short, there is Crawford. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is... And now the Giants pitcher, number one. Fourth number plate one. appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go! Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Third home run for him on the year as they've widened this lead to eight now. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed.
David Dahl to the plate now, and he's likely just run. trying to put one in play no here. 0 field. for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. It doesn't Dahl. look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, one, one, one. it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them Ow. back into this one. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So coming to the plate, Charlie Blackman. No right he fielder. singled Dubber his last 19. time up. Charlie. Here comes Black the first man. pitch. Three high. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Blackman Two. behind, no balls and two strikes. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out, and now he's 0-2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seven. Swing and a liner. The next 0-2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Into the box now. now. Daniel First Murphy. Baseman. He looked to bounce back Daniel. after striking out his last Murphy. time up. Out in front of it, strike one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being no. hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. One and one to the Rockies' first baseman. The 1-1 home. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error at... Trying to pick things up where yeah, we better. left off. Number, Number one. one. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman is there, and he puts it away to stop. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. He leads off their half of the eighth, Where'd and they've been unable Where'd to get that starter out of the game the to this point. Yeah, he Go. settled in early on the mound, Murphy. partly due to the lead his guys ball. gave him no. to take some of the pressure off. He's one taken ball. that and no pitched strike. very effectively in this one. The 1-0. We're playing 11, 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. Play 12, one two to count. Plays it first now. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. And that'll bring in Garrett yeah. Hampson. Yeah, he went down on strikes Number last one. time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. No ball. You could tell one he was strike. late on that yeah, one. one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Dickerson is in his tracks no, now as he please. makes the catch for out number two. Lobby. He and Desmond number will get one. the call to pinch hit yeah. here as we'll see what he can do with two That's out bad. and the base is empty. Huh. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. There's ball. a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Again, another foul ball. And we'll have a quick stoppage here as even though we're about 1,500 miles from the nearest beach, a beach ball has made its way onto the field anyway. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs. Now. In now for Colorado, Kevin Pilar. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball, ball in the strike zone. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. 
And plays it one now. A one one. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Mancini moving back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That'll bring up Tony Walters. He was sat now down Maddie. on strikes Good in his job. last at bat. No yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight Walter. either, Matty. Got to find Ball a way. One. Can't uh. go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. He Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One out, nobody on. All right, come on now. Mm, can't do much with that one, and it's one and two. Got him, and that's number 15 for the ball game. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't now even batting. in the strike zone, the but with the hitter man. protecting no with two way. strikes, that's the All kind of pitch out you out. can get him to offer at, ball. and he's probably not going to do much one with out. it when he does make contact. The 1 0 home. Hey, we got two. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dickerson's under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout? This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 14 nothing is Three the final in this one. The Giants wrap up their 20th...